Welcome, I know it's been a while since we last discussed crypto, especially Helium. So in today's quick video, I'm going to be going through where I stand with mining Helium. Number one, the negatives. Number two, the positives. And number three, the crypto market in general. So let's start off with the negatives. What did put a down on the project were the amount of changes happening to the network. There were so, so many changes on a weekly basis, and it got so annoying that every other week a new HIP will be introduced. HIP 51, the splitting of HNT to mobile and IoT tokens. The denomination of HNT from 1 to 1000. This was approved, however, it was never rolled out. HIP 70, the network switching to operate on the Solana ecosystem. I can go on and on. These changes not only affect the users of the network, which are you and I, but they also affect the suppliers of the hotspots who spend millions to build the tech and abide by Helium's rules for then Helium to pause the changes until further notice. Examples of this could be light hotspots and segregated mobile applications for each hotspot provider. This clearly shows that even though Helium is a decentralized project, that the majority of stakeholders will push forward any changes that they see fit for the Helium network. And transitioning into 5G is a pure example. You can take this in a good way or a bad way. The good way being that they are building the future of 5G and want to be the first decentralized network to do so. Negatively, if the network does not grow fast enough, Helium will be left behind. And again, it will struggle to gain users to use the network, just how IoT struggled to gain traction. Currently, there is simply not enough demand for IoT. So what are the positives of the network? The lack of demand for IoT could be temporary. Based on the advancement of future technology such as AI, more and more smart products being available, self-driving vehicles, and a well-established IoT infrastructure. As the world continues to digitally grow, this could be an advantage for Helium as they already have laid out the foundation, but they do require tons more marketing to bypass their competitors. Setting IoT aside, the main positive is 5G. Just like the rollout of IoT, the early birds were making the most profits. If you were around during the early days of IoT mining, you would know exactly how you were able to turn a profit in a short period of time. 5G is revolutionary and it is still in the process of mass adoption. Even during the unstable crypto market, Helium have still shown that they are able to partner with leading telecom giants such as T-Mobile. This shows positive synergies and it also shows recognition within the telecom space. And this brings me on to the crypto market in general. If you are new to the crypto space, then the current market conditions will definitely put you off cryptocurrency in general. However, it is super important to understand the history of crypto and the ups and downs we face during each cycle run, from the bull to the bear. Helium is a part of this unfortunately, and if the market dumps, the price of the token comes down with it. And if the market starts pumping again, then you'd see HNT start rising also. Until cryptocurrency is truly regulated, then it is hard to see Helium go off of its own tangent and not follow the Bitcoin trend. I personally still believe that the market will collapse even further. This will be due to economic conditions and the general sentiment of fear. But personally, I am here to stay through the thick and thin. So what are my final thoughts? I am still invested into the long term of the project. Whether it be the good or the bad, I am still happy to take the risks involved. I'm still running my IoT miners, even though that they are not making that much. And I've just set up a Bobcat 5 a Boba 500 uh, in the States. And now I'm just focusing on accumulating HNT IoT mobile tokens, waiting for the next bull cycle. If you haven't watched my video on mining during a bear market, please do check it out. I hope this video was insightful and I will be back to the channel to discuss more crypto and finance content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.